skilled mage on the ladder. Let's see how he performs here against Polo's team running that Spirit Link melee cleave. Likely going to be running at the Feral Druid in this opener. Fearing up Born Good and stunning Boom Surge. Great power control from Smexen early on. Already nailing Boom Surge down to about half health, but Born Good times some big heals, saving him in the nick of time. Born Good now stunned. Looks like they may be switching their attention over to him. He yep. activates that shield while trying to reduce the incoming pressure. He is running the Veiled Eye. That shield will allow him to survive that stun quite easily, but it does soften him up potentially for the future. Yeah, if Envious can continuously land those Hammer of Justices onto Born Good, keep him in that stun, he can get bursted down. Retribution Paladins are very good at killing Holy Pallies. There's a full Polymorph over on Nicola. Envious taking a little bit of damage. He gets caught in that stun. He actually trinketed out of that Hammer of Justice coming in from Born Good. Offensive Bob coming in from Born Good on a Boom Surge as well, uh, as well allowing him um, to be freed up and uh, get some damage out. All right, looks like uh, Envious's team is splitting their pressure to two targets. Born Good will respond by popping Avenging Wrath that boosts all of his healing, allows him to immediately top his team. Envious going for a Hammer of Justice to try and stall that out, but Flormats is just spamming up Polymorphs. It's difficult for them to really build any momentum. I like this move from Colo. He placed the Ruben Shield Totem right as the Polymorph finished its cast. This way, it absorbed all of the damage while he was crowd controlled and unable to heal. Nice moves from Colo. Flormats now the target here. Does appear to be running the Veiled Eye as well. So this huge absorb with Temporal Shield is more than enough for Flormats. Easily recover. Super Rejects, instead of pursuing after him, will switch targets to Boom Surge. Born Goods trying to make a play. Pushes in and actually, Hammer of Justice is envious. I'm curious if Colo used his Dispel potentially on a Polymorph, so Born Good used that stun while the Dispel was on CD. Born Good's mana is going to be the story of this match as the Paladin. He is easily going to get outmanned by the Shaman, so let's see how well he can manage it. Yeah, a good split strategy coming in from Super Rejects. There's a stun on Born Good. Boom Surge needs to be kiting away just a little bit, but it seems like he's going to be completely fine as long as Envious and Smexen can get on. Floor mass are really going to be limiting the amount of pressure he can put out. Yeah, and Envious is running the Bandage Trinket as well, and Colo is running that Spirit Link talent, which is super, super effective. When you're playing with a hybrid on your team, you know, it's going to make sure that everybody is kind of topped up, and when that hybrid is a Red Paladin as well, you have that work for AOE healing. It's going to be doing so much work assisting Colo, and as long as Colo activates that Spirit Link talent, Talent. Before uh, he gets crowd controlled, his teammates are going to be fine. And you can see Born Good's mana already dipping to about 60% here. So uh, moving forward, that is their win condition. And Born Good actually going down to take a sip right there, but Smexin is going to shut that down immediately. Super Rejects are basically playing the same kind of play style as XRB, but completely different classes with the Rep Paladin and Resto Shaman replacing the Druid and Enhancement Shaman, respectively. Spirit Link, the Honor Talent for Resto Shaman, splits the damage to his whole team. And then, as Zico already has said, Word of Glory allows him to heal his whole team. Colo can save the mana and not expend it. Flormas has secured a Polymorph on Colo. This could be dangerous for his team. Hammer of Justice on Envious. He deflects with his Shield of Vengeance. Smexen's. Veiled Eye is going to proc there, I believe, as well. Those absorbs should be more than enough for Colo to sit through the crowd control. And I can't inevitably but start to feel that Born Good is just going to run out of mana at some point in this game. Uh, the Frost Mage is just not bringing enough burst to kill through all of the defense that the Super Rejects have brought. Yeah, I think Super Rejects have a very good composition on their hands. There is a full Polymorph on Colo. No one's really taking too much damage. Another Hammer of Justice over on the Born Good. He's taking some damage. He's just getting hodged, taking some damage hiding away, topping himself off, and he's basically forcing Envious and Smexen to chase him down, always having that threat of drinking up. Uh, so one of the main win conditions here uh, for the Super Rejects uh, is that you can really get that Spirit Link off with a long crowd control, but uh, you're going to have to somehow get Colo to apply the Spirit Link, then you're going to have to apply a Nova, for example, right here when Envious is pushing away from Colo, and then if you can Polymorph Colo up two or three times, that Spirit Link can fall off, and when it does, you have a lot of burst potential on the side of the Super Reject, uh, uh, Super Well, sorry. All right, Boom Surge, looks like he's just kiting away with Born Good. Although inevitably, Born Good is running out of mana faster than Colo, and it, I haven't seen any sorts of glimmers of hope really as far as cooldowns. Both Smexen and Envious playing Dwarf. This is super effective against the Feral Druid as their racial can remove bleed effects. 
So I'm glad the Super Ejects are taking advantage of that after seeing its success with Blizzo earlier on in the EU region. Dwarf, Dark Iron Dwarf, both of those races super effective right now in the meta. Born Good getting Hammer of Justice here. This could be a Divine Shield. Tons of damage. He's in a lot of danger. He uses Blessing of Protection. Uh -oh. He's luckily got Colo in a Polymorph, unable to remove that Blessing of Protection. It was a greedy, risky move from Born Good to do that, but Divine Shield is a valuable cooldown that he can't afford to throw away. Well, that's just really good coordination and communication from floor mats and born good. Polo doesn't have a trinket. If he's in a polymorph, there's no way he's getting out of it. That why that's why it's not that risky for born good to throw out that blessing of protection. Good heals coming in from Boom Surge, but the Holy Pally is just so vulnerable to this sort of rushdown strategy. Sure, they got the Blessing of Protection, he still has the bubble available, but Born Good basically just has to run away, has to kite, does not have the kind of throughput that a rest of Druid has to keep himself alive in this kind of danger. All right, Thorns activated on Born Good, which reflects some damage back to the melee. Unfortunately, not getting too much done with that. Colo refreshing Spirit Link right at the end of that crowd control chain. Flormat's doing whatever he can to snare the melee off of Born Good, but seems to be a difficult goal to accomplish. Born Good to be getting out of that stun and immediately kiting away. It's a very similar series to what we've been seeing from the EU region, just switching up the specializations. Colo caught into another polymorph. Let's see what Flormat can get done with this. Yeah, Boom Surge taking some damage. Trinket will proc, so they managed to get that out of the way, but it just seems like Super Whales, they can't really do too much to Super Rejects. I feel like Colo came up with a very solid answer, the Retribution Paladin with the off healing, with the Spearling Shaman, very conservative on mana. You have Smex in there, They're putting in a lot of consistent damage with Envious, and Boom Surge and Formats really, it seems like they don't have the damage to really force Super Rejects defensive. I mean, you would normally hope that they could run Colo out of mana. I think they should switch strategies, not crowd control Colo and just triple dot frozen orb the whole team and try and aoe and run colo out of mana that way because there's no kill window with the strategy that they're implementing right now it's they haven't found any significant openings maybe deep and dampening they can and that seems to be what they're playing for with born good kiting around the map in a big circle but ultimately if they want to run colo out of mana they need to attack him i just think that if if uh, the super Wells want to be playing these holy paladin aggressive comps and they know they're against link shaman born good has to play the blinding light they need an extra cc chain like here for example cole is going to get polyed polyed and there the spirit link is off if there's a full blind now you're going to see so much damage on envious and i want to see floor mats here don't let colo just run up to your uh, to his teammates and reapply that link you need to be a frost mage use the ice nova on him use the the snares you know the the normal frost nova the cone of cold all of that stuff to make sure that Colo really has a tough time reaching his teammates and Born Good just needs to be running away from everybody like he is right now, making it even more impossible for Envious and Smexin to stay on him and they have to choose. Will I, do I want to go back and get my link back up and lose all my pressure or do I want to stick on my target here and take more damage? That way, at least you have some kind of option here in terms of offense because what they're doing right now is just playing into the hand of the Super Rejects and the Super Rejects, they are very, very happy playing like this. Yep, Born Good gets Hodge. Boom Surge under a little bit of pressure as well. Split strategy coming in from Super Rejects at 20% dampening. Things are going to get very scary for this Holy Paladin very, very quickly. Full Polymorph over on Ecolo as well. Do they have the damage to really force Smex in defensive? Doesn't really look like it. Frozen Orb gets dropped out, cleaving down both Envious and Smexin. Not bad. Good pressure here for the Super Whales, but I don't think they're going to be able to land a kill. Right now, Boom Surge seems to be the one in the most trouble with the Wind Shear interrupting Born Goods heals. The damage from the Super Rejects is starting to sink in here at 21% dampening. Born Good doing everything in his power to maintain his mana, a valiant fight. But will it be for not later into this match? Colo caught into another full polymorph damage on Smex, and the Spirit Link has fallen, but luckily. The Veiled Eye will save Smexen, absorbing a huge amount of damage towards the end of that crowd control. Now Smexen's ready to get back on the offensive, chasing down Born Good. Stormbolt secured. Envious is pushing forward. This could be the Divine Shield or death for Born Good as the Super Rejects take game number one. Now, the big thing that I want to start thinking about is why Super Whale's locked in this composition, right? When we were actually talking about them. Long enough for him to lose that Spirit Link buff and then take down either Smexin or Envious. Now, there is a lot of defensives on that uh, on that roster with those tank trinkets as well that they have to go through. So it's definitely not an easy thing to do, but Borngood is doing what we said here. He is staying in that corner right there and they get a bash into that full sheep. If they can get follow-up crowd control twice here on Colo, that uh, Link will fall 
ball off. Matt doesn't manage to get it, unfortunately, for floor mats. He's now born good. He's going to be in big, big trouble. Yep, the Super Rejects all dog piling on top of him as he tries to make a getaway on his horse. He's going to make it back to the pillar. But obviously, he would like to be in the open, so he opts to reposition, push forward, go for a hammer of justice. Envious removes that instantly, but he had to trade his trinket to do it. That does leave an opening moving forward. We still haven't seen blinding light from Born Good. That could be a secret that he's keeping in his back pocket. In the meantime, they are pressuring Boom Surge, procking that tank, trinket absorbed. Born Good immediately bouncing back his health, but now caught into a hammer of justice. Smexen chopping up Floor Mats, trying to go for a storm bolt, but he got Ice Nova on the storm bolt. Perfect timing from Floor Mat, denying the reconnect. Envious marching his way towards Born Good. Born Good doing his best to drag him into a bad position. So instead of chasing him there, he's going to switch targets. This way, Cola isn't so exposed to Polymorph. Yep, Format gets caught into the stun. Looks like Envious and Svexen putting a little bit of pressure on him. Just really trying to tax Born Good's mana, hitting anyone they can. But anytime Born Good's in range, he pushes in to get those Hammer of Justices. They do target him down, forcing him to retreat. Full Polymorph on Colo. Envious taking a little bit of burst right now, but then he just top himself off. Boom Surge gets caught into the stun. They're just making sure on this map in particular, because they don't have the same sort of uptime on Born Good, that they make sure to continue to do damage to Boom Surge, at least taxing Born Good's mana. All right, Boom Surge going for a heal game, pummeled by Smexen. Wasn't probably required to pummel that. Wild growth from a failed isn't going to be the most amount of healing. Smexen now laying him with Sharpened Blade. He does force Boom Surge to trade out Survival Instincts, which will soften him up again later on. Born Good still getting tunneled down by Envious, but Envious is finally getting counter-pressured in the meantime. Will they have to trade any major cooldowns is the question. Born Good is the one who's forced to pop Avenging Wrath. That's going to boost his team healing. It's going to allow him to recover quite easily from this position. Smexen is still held on to his avatar, though. And that cooldown is now even more scary for Born Good moving forward. Yep. Let's see, Envy is still just marching towards Born Good. There's the full hammer of justice. This is an opportunity to get a little bit of damage rolling on him, but Born Good's been doing a good job with this freedom so far to find a way, and they really don't, they don't have a spell for that except Colo. So Colo needs to make sure he's getting those freedoms off as fast as possible, allowing Envious and Smexen to have a little bit more uptime. Rare Frost used there by formats, putting out some decent damage onto Envious with the full polymorph onto Colo. That Spear Link is just so strong. If you guys aren't aware of what it does, it basically links up everyone's HP. So everyone takes reduced damage, but everyone takes that damage. Right. They need to get a good power control chain on Colo and split the team up, but they've just not been able to execute it. They are inevitably falling behind with Born Good taking immense pressure here. Envious leading the charge, switching over to Boom Surge, procking his huge shield, now switching targets again. It's important to switch targets normally during this. You're not likely to kill through it. You're just wasting damage. You can attack a different target, and then Born Good has to deal with it and heal it back up. So Exxon trying to stay on target. Nice purge from Colo on Born Good's Blessing of Freedom. Unfortunately, Smexen has given up the chase. He's just going to go back and start attacking Boom Surge. Envious attacking Floor Mats in center field. Just trying to disrupt and cause as much havoc as possible to run Born Good out of mana just that much faster. And Smexen doing a good job with his uptime onto Born Good. Floor Mat taking a little bit of damage in the meantime as well. Boom Surge, you can see, he's always trying to protect Born Good. There's a lot of off healing for him in this matchup. So when Born Good gets stunned up like this, Boom Surge will often get out of Feral form or get out of Kitty form, throw out some heals onto Born Good just to assist him and allow Born Good to hold on to that Divine Shield, that Blessing of Protection, those key defensive cooldowns just a little longer. Maybe Boom Surge and Floor Mat can actually pressure Colo enough to make him have to run away from his team. Like when Colo is standing in the middle of the map like this, maybe they can actually just pressure him to the point where he feels like he has to run away. And then when he does that, they can crowd control him and really get Colo on one side and his teammates on the other side. And that could be another opportunity for the link to fall off. Or if they land a counter spell just like that and then follow that up with a sheep doesn't manage to get it and i think there was an earth yeah there's an earth and she'll totem there so um, yeah the team super rejects are gonna be able to weather this storm uh, and now colo this is the situation you're gonna be in you see the link is falling off here floor Mat needs to crowd control colo nice route there from boom surge but floor Mat's gonna have to blink in and drop a frost nova on him and follow that up doesn't manage to find it and colo is gonna be able to reconnect press that spirit link and that's gonna allow envious as well as smexin to really go in and stay on target and now Colo can stay here in the middle of the map again because he is going to be on that dimension return for that big CC chain. So as long as the team of Super Rejects keep playing like a unit like that, there's really not going to be any openings for the Super Whales. They have to create them by targeting Colo, I believe. Yeah, and I'm also wondering if 
these frost mages should consider changing their specs to what you were saying earlier with glacial and lonely winter just maximizing basically turning themselves into destruction warlocks yeah. and trying to pressure the healers that run in the middle of the map like this formats doesn't have enough pressure as the spe the talents he's running currently to force anybody away he may not with the change but i feel like what they're doing right now isn't working so why not try something different they've got colo locked down in the middle of the map the spirit link has fallen but they can't keep the chain going colo will refresh it and continue on but in the meantime born good managed to drink back to full mana he's doing his best with what he's got it's just a matter of what can they really do i mean at 50 percent dampening maybe they do enough damage to kill the whole team and that's really their only what they're playing for at this point this really reminds me of the grand finals of europe right now born good and four is running away creating space boom surge doesn't even want to get into a battle right now finally gets caught into a stun a little bit of damage is going to be happening over on him colo into a polymorph but just just not that much pressure the smexon is going to be taking some damage it fears up born good interestingly enough not sure why he did that but born good got caught into the fear there that's not going to be available for smexon as a defensive cooldown a little bit later on uh, now wind shear over on the born good but He's doing a really good job managing his mana, managing his defensives, dampening now at 10%, and Super Whale is definitely in a better spot than the last game. Yeah, for sure, mana is doing great, but I think Borngard had ended up going down in the stun, so there's still that burst potential that could take him down. Envious trying to force the issue right now. Smexon charging over as well. Both members attacking Borngard. He's trying to create some distance, but finally getting support from his team gets some cast of heals and able to stabilize they switch their attention to boom surge and born good always has to bounce back and heal his teammate whenever the super rejects make these swaps and it costs them a lot of mana and they can catch up to their target much easier it's very important for the super rejects to always switch targets when their primary one escapes all right we can see some crowd control on colo but i don't think it's long enough without the blinding light really to force the spirit link to fall off and then sneak in some burst onto envious Borngood still just kiting away. Colo just chasing him down, maybe for a wind shear, or even just a hex at low health. Even though it can be removed, he's just trying to interrupt heals. Yeah. Gets the hex by both Format and Boom Surge. Have that decurse, so not super effective. But like you said, interrupt. Unfortunately, Borngood already topped himself off. Colo now into another full sheep. Format looking to do some damage over on a Smexon. Smexon says, you know what? I'm going in battle. Forget you. <laughs> he just goes in battle stance for a little bit, but finally back in D stance. But really not too scared of that damage just yet. And that really shows how strong that Spiritling talent really is. All right. So let's see what the openings are here. They've got Icy Veins up in three. I'm wondering if Floor Match should just hold on to that until... 50, maybe 60% damage because if he doesn't get anything done with it, then he doesn't have for potential counter pressure in the near future. Uh, it's going to maybe be a mistake. They're not really Umi Colo, definitely not by crowd controlling him. I think they should start attacking him. I, I, it, it just seems weird that they're ignoring him. To, to bounce off of the strength of, of this link, uh, like as Ben had started to mention, that's the reason too that Super Wales is forced to play this composition. Like it, it doesn't make sense in Super Wales' mind to play Hunter into the link. So that's why they're playing this. So it's twofold. Super Rejects have them completely cornered in wind condition, in compositions that they can play. And now at 21% dampening, they're going to try to chunk down Born Good. Well, that's the thing about jungle, right? Like normally you see jungle or a comp like RNG and it's very rushed down. You have to win relatively quick, but with how defensive Spiritling Shamans are, you have all these defensive PBE trinkets available in the game for them to use. You just can't win that quickly as a Feral Druid, as a Hunter. It just, it just doesn't work. So uh, that's why they had to change it up. Like you said, they need to bring in the Mage. They need to play the long game as well. They need to keep up the snares, avoid some damage, and then later on, they have an opportunity to kill. I still think Boom Search, even if he's a fresh boomkin would be better than feral dude in this matchup they can split up they've got cyclone to help up born good recover and they can crowd control off the spirit link late game they can just aoe the whole team it's definitely the better spec compositionally it's just a matter of confidence for boom surge if he's even going to be able to play it in the meantime Florence is getting good crowd control on colo and decent pressure on envious managing to proc his tank trinket and get eye for an eye there are some glimmer of hopes now moving deep into dampening Envious Freedom's over on the Born Good, still doing some decent damage. 30% dampening about to tick. Smexin actually, I think he trinketed out of a Polymorph, so doesn't have the trinket available. Wants to get aggressive over onto Born Good, but you can see Boom Surge retreating, throwing out some heals, getting out some stuns onto Envious. Format's been doing a good job landing full Polymorphs onto Colo, but I can't help but feel Colo doesn't even care if he gets full Polymorphed. They just don't have the damage at this point of the game to topple off his team. So instead of trying to avoid the Polymorphs by line of sighting and cheering, he's just tanking them because he, he can. Well, as long as he applies the Spirit Link before he gets Polymorphed, it's 
really good for him, but floor mats could do more, to be honest, to actually make Colo's life a little bit more miserable. He could definitely make Colo waste those uh, those Spirit Link charges, essentially, because they do cost quite a bit of mana to reapply. And if he does that with the fake casting a couple of polymorphs and making sure that they split up, it's a lot better for uh, Super Wells. But the other advantage Colo has is he's got Blessing of Wisdom from the Rep Held and refreshing his mana. Everything oh, about yeah. this composition is just really well-rounded. It's just a different version of what we've seen from Europe. The same can be said for the Feral Mage team as well. We're moving deeper and deeper into dampening at this point. Born Good seems to be the one struggling more than Here. Polo. Here, there's no link. This is the situation. You get them split up, then you land the crowd control off of a Nova, Perfect. and bam, there's the, there's the bubble. If Floormat keeps doing that, they can definitely abuse a large map like this and actually win the game. But it's, it is very difficult to do. Yeah, Envis needs to just make sure that you know, Specs and Envious, I think they just got a little bit over aggressive there. As long as they're by Colo, as long as they have the spear link, it seems like they can be very, very tanky. They did not run away. They put Colo in a very bad spot, couldn't defend himself. Boom Surge and Floor Mats were able to get the crowd control, like you said. Envious then all alone. So here's an another full polymorph on Colo, but he has the spirit link up. Envious reluctant now. Look, he doesn't want to chase Borngood. He wants to stay near Colo so he can refresh that link and keep his team alive. But that allows Borngood to go and do this, what he's doing right now, which is going for that drink. And if Floor Mat and Boom Surge, there we go. If they stop that, uh, Borngood might actually get a couple of ticks. Not this time around, but uh, this is for sure the winning strategy on their end. Yep. I can't help but agree with you, Zico. I think it is a good way. I mean, you, you saw it. Of Envious's bubble immediately triggered as soon as that spirit link wasn't up, and Polo went into a full polymorph now, full hammer justice on porn good. It looks like he actually trinketed it out of that one. They're putting a lot of pressure on Envious. He could be in some trouble here. Only has the blessing of protection really available to keep himself alive. Polo refreshes the spirit link, has to play catch up a little bit. We are at 43% dampening, so this is not easy for either one of these healers, but look at Born Good's mana. It's not good, and poor little Holy Pally struggling to top himself off. In the meantime, though, Format's going to be taking a little bit of damage. I kind of want Envious, and I want Smexin to get on Format. They need to pressure him. Temporal Shield will provide a little heal. They also force out the Ice Block, but Born Good just can't top his team off. They're going to have to make a play right here and now. Oh. They need to finish the game. Spirit Link, they need to get it to end. They've got them split up. They need to keep Colo away from his team, but Envious pulls back. The Spirit Link is going to reconnect, and that kill opportunity is now lost. Born Good is on defense, caught into a double stun lock. Easily going to have to trade Divine Shield here with Dampening so high, and the entire team dogpiling on him. Divine Shield forced. Boom Surge dipping low. Floor mats low as well. Born Good has a couple more seconds of Avenging Wrath to top his team. Will he be able to do it in time? It does appear to be the case they've stabilized they've managed to create another opportunity to find a kill on envious they've got a polymorph on colo they need to split them up envious knows that he was sitting next to colo just a little bit longer i almost would rather he just stays next to him even just a bit longer now the spirit link should get refreshed envious is unlikely to go down now they're pushing in for potentially the final stun of the match yeah, Floor Mats blinks over, still looking for the Polymorphs. He's seeing up Smex, and he's been doing a good job with the control of this game. Born Good, making sure he's always running through Floor Mats so he can provide those snares and those roots and those Polymorphs to help keep him alive. Another Polymorph over onto Smex. And honestly, anytime Polo gets crowd controlled like this, I really want to see Envious just run on top of him. The thing is going to fall off here, I think. Right, this could be an opportunity, but they don't really have any follow up. That's the problem, like you were saying. Polymorph's done. Even if it fell off, it only fell off for a second. Boom Surge is the one taking most of the damage. Smexen providing huge pressure for his team. Envious getting crowd controlled up by format. Smexen wants to push in, though. He realizes Born Good actually drank a lot, so he's going to be able to hopefully top off Boom Surge. I still feel like Blinding Light has to be the talent choice. If they had that extra crowd control earlier on, Envious might just be dead right now. Uh -oh. Born Good's doing whatever he can uh -oh. try and win the attrition fight, but he's got no cooldowns left. No. That's 56% healing reduction, and with the Red Paladin in his face, he's doing everything that he can, but it will not be enough. The Super Rejects advance 2-0 in the series. And the Super Rejects are looking to Super Reject the Super Whales, and the question... When will they be able to find the reverse sweep? The gates are now open. I have a funny feeling Super Whales are about to get beached. Super Rejects, <laughs> this composition is just very good. No longer do they have the Frost Mage in order to put out a lot of those snares and a lot of that damage. Double fear what? appeared early on. Super Rejects lead the charge. Born Good's already in trouble with that tank trinket triggered. He's trying to get back to the pillar as soon as possible, but they're just all over him. Smexin leaping forward. There's the full freezing trap. 
they need to chain this, but Morgan's out of position. Well, the is off, though. To. I, I mean, for like two seconds, I don't think they have any more crowd control. Cola should get in there, reapply the spirit, Lincoln. Borngood is the one that's still under fire. Yeah, but Borngood's in so much trouble right now. Hammer of Justice, that's already the Divine Shield. And here's the thing, Cola can afford to play on top of Borngood in this situation. He can get off those purges, and then Borngood really can't get away. Is, uh, does Hunter still have the knockback trap? Because if they do, that could be the winning grace or the saving grace here for the Super Whales. They would need to drop that trap and then knock Colo far, far away from his teammates, try to root him up there and try to give him some micro CCs in that way. Aside from that, I really don't see too many openings here for Super Whales uh, in uh, their attempts to kill Smexin or Envious. I mean, freezing trap just isn't long enough on its own. They need... They need something more, control. yeah. And Born Good should have been blinding light at least in one of these games, in my opinion. Uh, it it just adds that extra diminishing return that they need to uh, actually close out the game and make that spirit link fall off. You, you can't be playing to survive. You have to play to actually win the game here. Oh, exactly. He, he needs to survive right now, though. Smacks in an envious on top of him. No divine shield available. He has the blessing of protection. He needs to get out of line of sight. Actually playing the repentance, it looks like. He has that. I don't think he's going to be getting off too many repentances in this matchup, so maybe not the best talent choice for Born Good. It's just, he doesn't need cross CC, he needs long CC. To well, maybe he wants to repentance off of the trap to, like, re-CC. That's the only the thing that makes sense, right? Yeah. You get the rep off the trap, try to prolong the link and maybe find a kill in a window like that. Keep in mind, folks, link was something that Jungle was scared of all the way back at one of the first lands. Like, that was what we thought reformed. There's the rep off the back of the trap. Not going to be able to get anything done this time around. If she uses it to cross CC Envious there, so he couldn't really off heal Smex, and so maybe that's what they're trying to do. But Born Good once again caught into the Hammer of Justice. Blessing of Protection comes out. It looks like Cole is able to dispel that instantly. Born Good's trying to get away using the Divine Steed, but Smex and Envious are there. Envious uses his Divine Steed as well. Born Good, though, not snared up, manages to get away. There's a trap on Nicolo. Envious could be in some trouble, but no, the Tank Shrinker Proxies should be able to weather this storm quite easily. This is big cooldowns from the Super Whales, and all they got was the Veiled Eye. They were really hoping for Divine Shields or even Earthen Shield Totems. Anything other than just the Veiled Eye would have been great for them, but they're not finding it. The one saving grace is that Colo is surprisingly low on mana. I mean, Jungle does way more pressure than the Mage Comp, so he has to link on cooldown, and there is some potential that he burns out his mana faster than Born Good. And well, it's because of the Hex, uh, because of the purges actually uh, from Colo. I don't think Colo is going to be running out of mana before Born Good. I think he's just been playing. Oh, he, this is a full trap without the Spirit Link. If they get a stun out of this, this could be huge. Definitely could be. The thing is, Envious now not having to deal with the Frost Mage. Uh, Super Whales, they don't have an offensive to spell, so Envious Blessing of Protection is as good as gold in this matchup to keep himself alive. That's one thing that's not as scary for the Super Rejects, but these are the setups we need to be uh, seeing, like you're saying, Zico. They need to be able to CC off that Spirit Link. Born Good caught into the stuns. Once again, Smexin and Envious are there. Born Good really struggling to top himself off, and he's almost honestly almost out of mana. All right, good crowd control here from the team of the Super Whales. Using the Repentance now as well. Going to be gunning after Smexin, but not enough damage to find any true meaning. Born Good in the meantime is basically out of defensive cooldowns. We're not even into dampening. He's almost tapped on mana. It's really looking worse and worse for him. He's doing whatever he can to try and sneak a drink, but Smexin denies it by heroic leaping right on top of him. Hammer of Justice. I think it's important to note what the Super Rejects are doing to try and win this game. Obviously, Boom Surge is a Feral Druid. Brings a lot of off healing on that hybrid class, so they need to make sure that they take both Boom Surge and Born Good out of the fight at the same time. And they can do that by using Hammer of Justice on Born Good and Stormbolt on Boom Surge, and they chain that into Cap Totem, and they've been executing that strategy quite effectively, or at least up until the last time that they did it what it was a little bit uncoordinated and they need to get back in the groove early blessing of protection by born good smexin had a little bit too much uptime on him for born good's liking so yeah, ends up using that blessing of protection going to be out of line of sight really like you said just trying to kite colo as much as he can overextend smexin overextend envious that's an opportunity for super whales to really start generating some pressure in this matchup nice full trap over on Nicolo. envious getting down a little low smexin as well rotting down envious deciding to get aggressive with the hammer of justice on Born Good. Smexin trying to get there, but fortunately just not able to connect. I will say the Jungle Cleave looks way better. They're winning on mana. I mean, even though it looked grim for Born Good in the middle of this game, he's gotten mana back, and it's a significant lead over Colo. And 
there's far more opportunity to win this match, I think, than we saw with the Mage. And if that's the case, potentially this is the way for the Super Whales to come back in the series. Yeah, I mean, it's looking good. Only at 3% dampening. And look at the pressure that they had. Full bash over on Colo right now into a full trap once again. Envious could be in some trouble. They might be able to get the Blessing of Protection or the Divine Shield here. Orngo is just going to be spamming out those efficient Holy Lights. He's doing an excellent job this game with his mana. Full hammer of justice on Born Good. I think he's going to be able to kite away, though. Smexen just cannot connect. Colo just got a drink. Ooh, okay. Well, that's not so good for the Super Whales. <laughs> SSDS and Boom Surge have been doing a really good job protecting Born Good in this match so far. Yeah, rooting up and snaring the melee, keeping them as far away as possible for as long as possible. Mana now equivalent for both teams as we've just stepped foot into dampening. SSDS taking a bit of uh, damage there from Smexen. He's kind of disengaging. He got charge rooted on the harpoon, I believe, there. It's a bit unfortunate. Born Good caught into a store belt. And I will say that the Super Rejects, their cross crowd control has been very weak for the past two minutes they were executing it very well but recently they've been dropping the ball and boobs are just saving board good constantly on these stun locks due to the fact that they're not cross crowd controlling the super rejects need to clean that up because even though it looked one-sided i definitely think the super whales have opportunity yeah and you can see the super whales again one of the key things that has enabled them to stay alive so long is they've drastically changed their uh, trinket choices. We can see even Born Good right now using Machimbas and also using Veiled Eye, and that's allowed him to extend the game a little bit further, but still looking like he may be in danger here. We just saw Machimbas proc. Now we're actually going to see Veiled Eye on Envious. That yeah, Born Good, though, he does not have any tools left to survive. He needs to hold on another 25 seconds for that Blessing of Protection. Envious rotting down, Smexen rotting down, Colo struggling to top off his team. He still has the Ascendance to work with. That's going to be huge for the Super Rejects. If Colo can get a full Ascendance off, top off his team, that's basically a full reset for their HP bars. Born good trinkets out of the Hammer of Justice, gets the Thorns by Boom Surge, making Envious and Smexen sort of second guess, chasing him down. All right, Born Good, you've been in this position a lot in this tournament as a Holy Paladin. You have no manas, and you have basically <laughs> no cooldowns. What are you going to do? Are you going to pull off the miracle and impress all of us? We're about to find out. Colo stuck in a freezing trap. Envious getting focused down, but not enough to really force anything major. Nice hammer justice with Sanctuary from Envious will remove that right away. Hex to slow down. Boom, or Born Goods get away. Everyone on his team is dipping low. Dampening now almost at 20% healing reduction. Full out. He pre-bopped it. Wow. A nice move by Born Good, but they can just purge it off. Envious actually on the back foot a bit here. Colo's tapped. I don't know about you, but I'm already impressed with Born Good. Envious getting very, very low. Mame over on Colo. This could be the bubble. Could be Blessing of Protection. Full trap now on Colo. He gets stunned up. A lot of pressure coming in from Boom Surge and SSDS. There's the Divine Shield. This is not looking too bad for the Super Whales, but they make a big swap over onto Boom Surge. Boom Surge in a lot of trouble. The Super Rejects looking to get aggressive here. Smexen trading out the die by the sword. Ascendant's already been used by Colo, but Colo has no mana left. I mean, both teams are on the ropes right now. They need to support Born Good during this stun. If they can keep him alive for this, there's still an opportunity for them to take this. Envious and Smexen are in a lot of trouble. Colo's got no mana left. There's no word of glory charges right now. Full trap secured onto Colo. Envious in a lot of trouble. He's got the blessing of protection. Is that going to be enough to keep him going? Boom Surge is dipping low. Born Good has nothing. Avenging Wrath is still up. Maybe that's enough for him to stay in this. Colo caught into a stun. Envious' blessing of protection has faded. Boom Surge moves in for a stun to try and take him down. Colo so fortunately had an enough mana just a spirit link there in potentially the final moments of the match everybody on the super whales have nothing left to trade oh, as main death to try and dodge and execute but it is not enough a valiant fought fight by the super whales but the super rejects will advance you know honestly this is one of those situations where you really just wish we saw the super whales feed versus the fake zebras we're all tied up one and one who is going to find themselves on match point who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament keep in mind folks we're doing a brand new thing you have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in battle for Azeroth.